Hey guys, today I've been in the shop making these monster soft jaws. These are going to be for my good friend Craig for a little job that he wants me to do for him. You may remember Craig from some of my earlier videos and Craig used to be a Haas technician and he helps me out at my school. So Craig's made some Ducati motorcycle um, fork end caps and uh, he wants me to put a little uh, hexagon nut on the top of them. So I've made these soft jaws to hold these caps and later on I'll um, I'll bore out a circle here on the two of them. Now this is quite simple guys how I've done this you know, sketches and uh, counter bores and that sort of thing but a little bit different here to I've done today I've set up some parameters so in the future if these soft jaws change I can at any time I can keep that uh, the same aspect ratio in regards to length, width, thickness you can see I've set up counter bore heights, uh, major diameter, minor diameters and distances etc uh, from these soft jaws, guys, I've put them into my dual vice setup, and you can see here my machining strategy, and I'll just uh, simulate this for you. Uh, it's a face. I've set up two work offsets, G54 and G55. I've set up some uh, deep drilling with a 9mm drill bit, um, counter boring as well with a 10mm end mill, and then a contour with a 12mm end mill around and three passes to get it looking nice and not nice and neat. Now the contour around the top just to take the sharp burr off and the same thing happens on the other side. Now you'll see back here guys that I've actually offset these and I've offset them for the bottom stock so when I you can see it here when I click in here that you can see the bottom stock is, account, is accounted for not the side offset though. Okay, so from here, guys, I'll put them back in the, flip them upside down, sit them back into the, uh, into the hard jaws, and simply face it. Um, so we'll show you here. So it's a, it's a face to knock down that 4mm off the top, and then a contour cleanup and clean those holes up, deburr them. Alrighty, now guys, when you're doing operations like this, you'll notice here that I've set up my left hand one. I've told it which is the model and which is the fixture. So the, the jaws here are the fixture, there's the model. You can see my G54 is the top left hand part. Same with my right side. And I've set that up as well. And you'll notice here that I've got multiple work offsets selected. Now upon post-processing that, guys, if I wanted to post that, I'll just have to generate it before I post it. When I right click on and go post process, it will warn me that you've selected multiple posts. And in here, I can go up and pick my post for my SkyFire machine, which I've put into my assets in the cloud. But um, I'd forgotten to check that box there, guys, which says minimize tool changes. Now, upon clicking that, uh, it would face this one, then face that one. And I forgot to do it for the video, so I do apologize. But um, that's a neat little trick if you want to remember that for later. Okay, guys, let's step over to the machine now. I'm going to show you uh, from tooling it up, setting the tool offset, setting the work offset, and machine these parts today. So I'm just going to start tooling up for this little job. I've got my BT30 tool holders over here, the ER32, and I've got a 12mm collet and a 10mm collet. I'm running uh, carbideendmills.com.au uh, end mills today. And these are a specially ground three flute carbide, um, specially ground for aluminium. We've got a 12 mil and we've got a 10 mil there as well. Okay, Okay, I'm going to call up my tool offsetter now, or my edge finder, and to do that I need to go into MDI. I press the button under MDI here, F3, and I'm just going to change the in the MDI line there, the manual data entry is put tool 8 in, start, end of block, and we'll do a tool change. Alrighty, I'm going to jog over my edge finder now to the um, tool offsetter. Now to do that I need to flick to MPEG or MPG 
MPG means manual pulse generator. I'm going to call up my coordinate system and I like to use G56. I usually use G54 and G55 running the twin vice, but G56 is where I like to do all my tool offsets. So I'm going to jog it over to the centre now. But before I do that, I need to arrow across here. I don't know if you can see that on screen. By pressing the right arrow once, twice, I flick back to MPEG now. In X, I'm going to jog over to my zero position. You can see I've got G56 called up because you'll see the, the, the behind the screen is a blue colour, but when I'm in the corresponding um, work offset, you'll see a white highlighted number. Now when I flick back from jog into MDI, you can see it's highlighted. Now I need to press Z once and hold end to block. And this will now make, it will zero out my Z. You can see my X, Y and Z are zeroed out on G56. Now when I put my tool in, I can set it to that value and type it into the controller. I try to leave as many tools set up as I can, but I um, usually switch out tool 7 and 6 depending on my job. So I'm going to call up tool 7 now. So I flick to MDI, monitor, back into MDI, come down, arrow across, delete once, press tool 7, T, so T07, tool 7, M06, commander tool change, start, end the block. And here we go. So tool 7 is in. What I'll do now, I'll remove tool 7 and put in my other tool. So I need to flick over to jog mode, press the tool one close, tool comes out. I'll put it in my pocket, I usually don't do that. Here's my other tool, back in, unclamp it. Now we can jog down and set that tool height. Okay, I've got my MPG in my hand. I'm going to flick back over to coordinate system. Okay, I need to change my coordinate system. I need to go, but I need to call up my tool height, which is that one there. I'm going to jog down now. There's my tool height. Okay. Now by reading the absolute value here, so I'm in tool seven, and the value here is minus 54, so negative 54 decimal 791. And we'll just check that, 54791, 54791, end of block, confirm, it's gone in there. Okay, cool. So I can jog that one up now. My dual vice setup uh, was put in about a week ago and it was trammed to the fixed jaw. So here's our blocks today that we're machining. They're two, uh, two bits of aluminium billet, uh, 40 by 40, just extruded stuff. We're gonna set it up in our vise. Now I'm not running parallel strips here because I've actually put in a carbide end mill and machined a little step in my jaw. And uh, makes my setup a lot quicker. find that left hand side corner and there we have it
guys, you can see that last um, face was a stuffer. I had um, 0.5 step downs here, but I forgot to alter it here. So I came back and took a four mil cut. And that's what happens when you don't prove your program. When I say prove it, to run it in single block mode until you can prove that program the first time round. But hey, little Skyfire took a four mil cut, no problems.